good morning students in the earlier video we have discussed about what is a transaction and what are the various properties of a transaction okay in this video we will discuss about what are the various states or stages of a transaction any transaction will have five states the states are active partially committed committed fail and aborted okay these are the five states a transaction can be there the active state is the initial state when the transaction is executing we will call it as the transaction is active okay what is under partially commit means you have read some value and you have modified the value and you have written write the value so yesterday means in the earlier video we have discussed read a a is equal to a minus 5 right a we have written now right a is we are saving but the save is partially commit means it will be stored in the memory only but it will not be updated in the database if we, we perform commit operation means if the transaction goes to the commit state then it will be permanently stored in the database i hope you have understood what is an active state partially commit and commit now when we are executing any transaction because of some problem it can go to the fail state also okay from an active state also it can come to the fail state without partial commit means you have executed the transaction so the transaction is active when you are executing this operation the tra transaction was fail so from an active state also it can come to the fail you have performed the partial commit meaning is that right here also you have performed after that there is a another transaction called read another operation called read b okay after performing the partial commit because of some problem it was fail so i can say that after partial commit also it can go to the fail state okay now once it is failed it is our duty to do the abort or rollback option meaning is that all ab2 have the atomicity property okay so i hope you have understood the various states of a transaction now any transaction we will always try to execute in concurrent way okay in the isolation we have discussed that it will the transaction should be executed in an isolated but when the transactions are executed in a concurrent way so we will discuss what is the need for concurrent execution okay need for concurrent execution of a transaction now what are the needs is that the concurrent execution will improve the first advantage of executing the transactions in a concurrent way is improve the throughput and resource utilization okay we can improve the throughput of the system and resource utilization we can do in a better way and the second advantage is that reduce waiting time reduce waiting time so let me discuss this one with a simple example okay let me see when you are watching this video okay maybe some students can do the whatsapp to their friends is it clear so what they are doing they are watching this video and also in concurrent way they are sending the message to their friend okay so if i do it in a serial way first you watch the entire video my video then you message to your friend that is one series another series is you message to your friend then start watching my entire video this is the serial execution but what is the problem with the serial execution your waiting time is more because when you are messaging to your friend and you got the reply be in the between time you have started watching the video okay then your friend has to wait for a long time for your reply so waiting time will be more when you are executing the transactions in the serial and another one is improve the throughput and resource utilization because you have the talent of doing the multitasking if you have the talent of multitasking why should we execute in the serial order okay so it will improve your throughput and even the resource utilization will be good because your laptop is running 
for watching this video and your mobile is also running for your whatsapp messages so resources also you are utilizing properly so this is the advantage for executing the transactions in a concurrent way